Great work. Love that idea. Yeah. All right, so we're looking at more uh, near record warmth again tomorrow. Are you ready? It's November. <gasps> Yeah, I know. <laughs> Let me tell you, I went camping in the Telamina State Park this weekend. I was happy it was warm. Oh, I bet. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Pretty nice. All right, let's take a look outside of what's going to happen tomorrow. Tulsa's record high is 85. We should be up to around 82. So might just miss it over toward Fayetteville, Tahlequah. The record high is 80, so we could get very close in our eastern counties. McAllister's record high tomorrow, 84. Very close down to the south, but we'll, we'll see what what happens? Henrietta, 70 degrees right now. Muskogee's down to 68. The winds are calm at Jenks Middle School. South Tulsa, 73 currently outside. Take a look at this picture. I love this. This is from Leslie Johnson, and she calls this a Halloween sunrise. Look at that orange. Does that not look like a pumpkin just <laughs> rising through the sky? Great picture there. And then tonight, Maureen sent in the sunset over Fort Gibson Lake. That's another fantastic picture. And over the weekend, Rod Wickersham sent in that uh, sunset photo from Broken Arrow. And what they all have in common are these high cirrus clouds that we continue to see streaming in from the west. And we're going to have those with us tomorrow as this cold front approaches. But we'll be warm and the clouds will actually increase a little bit tomorrow with southerly winds. And I think that's the reason we're around 80 to 82 instead of 85 or 86. Wednesday around noon, mostly cloudy skies. We're at about 80 degrees again on Wednesday. And then Wednesday night, showers, thunderstorms with this cold front. Winds turn to the north behind the front. And finally, temperatures start to feel a little bit more November-like, a little more fall-like as temperatures will drop into the 70s for highs. A little bit of a warm-up headed our way this weekend, and then more cool air plummets down to the south with a storm system that will sit over the middle part of the country around the 10th or 11th of November. It might be a rainy couple of days with temperatures stuck in the 60s. So there is cooler air coming may have to wait maybe six or seven days to really feel the cooler air. I'm talking 60s cooler air. And that's about average for this time of the year. 85 today, the average high 68, missed the record high today by two degrees, 87 back in 1950. Right now outside, partly cloudy skies, warm still, 73, south winds 13 miles an hour, dew point right around 54, so that's humid for October. Uh, but, you know, if this was back in August, we'd think that was wonderful. It does feel pretty decent outside. 64 at Veneta right now, 65 at Skytook. Winds are southeast, 5 to 10 over a night. 63 in Muskogee, 65 in Sepulpa tonight with south winds at 10 to 15 miles an hour. Lower 60s down in LaFleur County, Poto. Southwest winds around 10 miles an hour and a low in the lower 60s. And then tomorrow, south winds 10 to 15 here in the morning. We're up to 77 by noon as the winds will be gusting between 20 and 30 tomorrow and high temperatures reaching the lower 80s, 82 in Tulsa, 83 in, in Bartlesville, 84 at Sky took prior up to 81, Tahlequah and Wagoner also 81, Sepulpa around 83 with south winds in our central zones sustained at 20 miles an hour tomorrow. And then Wilberton and Eufaula and McAllister on the low 80s with south winds around 15 to 20 miles an hour. Seven day forecast on Wednesday morning, 66, 80 with a 40% chance for that rain Wednesday evening, Wednesday night. It's out of here in time for most of the day Thursday, so we're dry and cooler, 73, 72 on Friday. Look at these morning lows, 40s. Wow, it'll feel great. And don't forget, Saturday night into Sunday, we're turning our clocks back one hour. Mm. So we get an extra hour of sleep this weekend. That'll feel nice.